Toma's entrance last episode was so hype. He just casually stops the goal and is like, what's going on, Hyoka? Hyoka is a being that does not exist but exists. Due to the AIM, due to this, you know, basically like Esper aura, they're kind of like superimposed with each other. They're all like doing their cocktail of stuff and she was created and she's also the key to the imaginary number district or something. And that is something Alistair also mentioned. This seems very important. Sherry is quote unquote representing the church, but I think that she's just blaming the church because she's a disgruntled like maybe ex-member and she just wants to start an all-out war. And the key to the imaginary district is very important for that all-out war. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right. Yes, sir. She's real to me. Life is all equal to Toma. Toma. Oh, so cool. Yo. I guess the golem just can't be moved when Toma's touching it. Friends, Kazakiri Hyoka. You look cool, man. Ah, oh, I thought that like his Imagine Breaker would just like stop Sherry's control over the goal, and that's why it just stopped and didn't disappear. But there it is; it just crumbles. Don't let her! Don't let her fucking write. You get rid of that fucking chalk. Like, if we get rid of her chalk, can she even use this magic? Maybe she would like draw with blood. She just did all that just now? I only saw her fucking write the letters. She wrote the fucking circles and shit. I mean, all we gotta do is just touch it. <laughs> Am I the monster? No, Hyoka. Justice judgment, sorry. Actually, I'm not sure if they're a judgment. They're cops, though. Anti-skill? Alright, both of them have shown up. Friend my ass. Y'all don't know each other. You've barely known each other. But hey, it's a good. So much values life, like, all equal. Let's go. He's yapping. Dude, did he pre did he rehearse this? He's so cool. Are these guys gonna be actually like useful? Because whenever you have cops, guns and shit, right? Law enforcement show up like an anime with like supernatural shit and, and big monsters, they're trash. They're literal fucking cannon fodder. But like, yo, anti skill. Are you guys legit? Let's see it. Allah, she's riding again. That's a lot of angels. That's a lot of angels. <laughs> Got an upgrade. <laughs> you got like a visor now instead. Oh, I thought that she was about to fucking summon angels or something. She's mentioning like angel names. Look at that visor. Boop. Locked in. Hey, he's kind of like matching the Misaka clones with their goggles. Imagine Breaker! Risk his life to save your ass by defeating Golem. Aww. You know what? I think that proves that being a good student has nothing to do with GPA. Because his ass is still like remedial school, failing fucking everything. He's like the worst student in the fucking school, according to grades. But he's Koboe Sensei's best student because it's, it's in here that matters. The heart, the core. May that help you cope with your shitty grades at school, guys. Nah, he will. He'll do it. Yeah. Wonder what would happen if we touch Hyoka, right? Would the key just disappear? How would that work? 
I kind of wanted to fucking grab her right now. No touching allowed. Alright. Yeah. We'll go take pictures again, and I'll accidentally pee. Okay, Toma. Go, 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 go. Just gotta make contact. Hard to make contact if you do that. Can you just... But, like... I'm thinking, like, if there's a huge punch coming. If we just try to punch that shit, wouldn't our fucking just body just get crushed? Even though it would cancel it out? Ooh. Okay! You're thinking, you're thinking! Okay, we're in, we're in. Yeah. I'm here to punch you, bitch. <laughs> Nothing like good old gender equality. Equal rights. Means equal left. Sherry, get fucked. Bop. Ooh. Yo, one more time. Tap. Wait, wait, wait. Touch it. Just touch it. Dude, she's so fast. She, she, she fucking... How fast is she riding this? Can't do two golems at a time, but... Did she get away? I think she went under. She just disappeared. Well, I mean, I guess we won the skirmish, but she got away. Probably not a good idea to just pursue. I'm not sure. He'll come back. Later. War. That's right. Flashpoint. Catalyst. Like, maybe she doesn't have to just take Hyoka. She's just going around to make sure, Hey, I'm English Puritan Church! And I wanna fuck up espers! And then, you know, get the whole magic science people start beefing. Index? Index? I don't know who she meant. Uh, it is Index. What's she up to? Uh, she's with Misaka though, it's fine. I have faith in Misaka, level 5. And like, that's the thing. This shit is just decoration at this point, right? Because the walking church has been nullified since episode 1. Why are you still wearing this shit? It's her uniform. Crazy. Yeah. There's so many safety pins, man. If we tell her, I think she'd be jealous or disappointed because Toma did it. Toma stripped me naked. Mm. Sherry should be showing up pretty soon. London style. Yay, it's my fault instead. I think Toma's gonna get abused by both of these girls. It'll be fine. Plus, we have the Heaven Canceler. Wow, she has absolute faith in him. Literally, what that means. But she doesn't know that we live together. Ooh, when is that gonna be found out, man? Roommates. Oh, is Sphinx gonna be the reason Index gets kidnapped right now by Sherry? Oh no, don't separate her! No, no! Let me rub the cats the wrong way. Metaphorically, right? Metaphorically. Well, she gonna get kidnapped and taken hostage. Manhole covering and coming. Sherry? Sherry? Is Sherry gonna pop up? What? That's not convenient. We're literally locked? Because of laws? Did we just jump down there? It's going for index, though. Gothic Lolita chick. Yeah, she had the whole Gothic Lolita dress, I guess, but her 
physique is not a Lolita at all. English Puritan Church, clout, targets, index. Oh no, she's an illegal immigrant. Index is a fucking illegal immigrant for they're gonna deport her ass out of fucking Academy City. It's also crazy how, again, Alistair just lets people in. Like, what is up with the security? Like, they're supposed to be supposed to be such a highly important place, but people just come in and go whenever they fucking want. It honestly makes me feel like Alistair lets this shit happen. Like, he intentionally is like, eh, fine, because it. Then, then what? Is he trying to really rock the boat for his goals? Bro, just open the fucking door! The lies! Kyoka might do something for in for Toma right now then. <laughs> that was such a fucked up scene. <laughs> Yo, maybe the answer is the imaginary district. Maybe she has the key to open it and somehow will help us. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? How? With your triangle prison thing in your head? Are you a monster? Can we send you? You're gonna get your ass beat! Can you fight? Nah, Toma would never allow that. That's so... No, we would never allow That's a hilarious idea, though. She's just gonna be an actual fucking meat shield. It, I don't know. She didn't really seem to take any damage, though. Her head got cracked open. It got put together. <laughs> That's sad, though. <laughs> Koma would never allow this. <laughs> that, that is kind of true. <laughs> that, that is also kind of true. <laughs> It's a crazy idea, but like, these are the facts. It's, it's kind of still fucked up just to kind of imagine her just getting pummeled instead of Index and buying time. No. No, don't let her go. No, if you touch her though. That's the thing. If we touch her, right? That's, oh, can't be doing that either. We should follow her. We should just follow her then. All right, she going in. Toma, what's you gonna do, bro? Just gonna wait here? You should follow her. I thought the fall damage would be canceled by like the rubble down there. So maybe Toma could jump down. Backstory? Bald, bald. Maybe this is when she first materialized into this world. She got a whole ID and everything. Like, like, how the fuck does the diffusion fields overlapping and shit just create her, but also just has a fucking ID and everything? Like, what? It is made by the AI and diffusion fields made by S. There's no what? Here, this place is made by AI and diffusion fields, emitted by espers. What? What? Is this the imaginary district? Are we in the imaginary district right now? Whoa! I think we are. We definitely are, right? I mean, okay. But this is not just Academy City. Are, are, wait, wait, are you? There's other people. Am I crazy? This is Academy City. This is not imaginary district. That could be an academy city. People are fucking swapping. There's no way here. It sounds like everyone else is also like a diffusion made being. I even I it, this is imaginary district though. It's it's gotta be though, right? Because what what the fuck is going on with everybody else and her description of this place? Okay. Okay. That's the real world, okay. Index. 
she could touch index though. And why is that? Because index is not an esper. And she's a magic user. I don't know, but uh, she couldn't touch anybody else. She can't you know, contact anybody else. It's an esper city. You have an illegal immigrant here. Touch and yoink. We smuggled her in too. What do you mean? It's a TV. <laughs> Very important uh, milestone for memory. A boy saw me undressed, yeah. Be doubling it down today. God damn, I get undressed again. Very important core memory twice in a single day. You're not a monster. Hmm. I'll protect my friend. Sphinx, stop it. Sphinx, where are you going? Bad kitty. Sphinx is saying, get out of here. Something bad's happening. Yeah, we should listen to the animal intuition. I mean, the manhole cover near Misaka was rumbling too. Uh oh, it's like a. What, just every manhole cover in the city is getting fucked up? This is. Sherry? Sherry, what you doing? Sherry, what you doing? Golems? I thought that golem was about to, you know, take index and just yoink. But it was like, psych, motherfucker, fuck you. <laughs> Who's gonna save her? Misaka, yo. Oh, index can fight. So far, I've only seen Index in helpless moments in Johan's pen, but she did say like she could protect Kami, you know, Toma or something. Let's see it. Lock in. Grimoire. What magic we using? Oh, she giving us the whole fucking lore. Sure. That's right. If you know a magic, right, you can counter. That's the entire purpose of the Grimoires, right? The better you know a fucking magic spell, the better you can just deconstruct it. If she figures out what this golem alias shit is, gone. TTTR. TTTR. Okay. TTTR. So many acronyms. So what the fuck? You think acronyms? Okay, it's easy. Mm. OP man. I would honestly say that's even more OP than using just magic, bro. Just like understanding what the magic is and just canceling it, nullifying it. That's OP. I mean, it's it's kind of similar to Magic Breaker because like in essence we are canceling it, but not quite the same. But like she could just dismantle the magic. <laughs> B B D D N N W A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Oh shit! What's she doing? She took the pins off. I don't know. And they show him some legs. She took the fucking pins off. What's it mean? Oh, the pins! The safety pins! What? It went in it. It can't move the foot. It's like pinned down. <laughs> Wait, it's a pin and the foot is pinned down. There's no way that's what it actually means though, right? Because the, this foot is like melted onto the ground or something. It's pinned down because it's a safety pin. Is that what they're trying to tell me? There's no way, right? It can't move, man. Throw another pin. Oh no, Sphinx. Toma, Kyoka, Misaka, somebody. Make both feet parallel to the center of gravity? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, G, R, A, A, O, L, M, N, O, P, G, The pin. Oh no. Kyoka. Toma. Misaka. Tsuchimikaro. Aogami. Anybody. Komoe sensei. Kyoka. Kyoka? 
I didn't hear a Magic Breaker sound effect. I did not hear an Magic Breaker sound effect. I hear like a squish. So I think that was Hyoka. I mean, Hyoka did say she's going to be an actual fucking meat shield, but uh, she's not going to take damage though. It's perfectly fine. For whatever reason, Index couldn't, you know, intercept anymore because it went from self-control to remote con or remote control to self-control, kind of vice versa, stuff like that. So it's not really the magic that she thought it was, but it's really cool to see Index actually fight, right? She can't use magic, but she can like intercept the magic, understand what it is and kind of break it down. She says a bunch of acronyms and it'll kind of obey in the direction that it does. Her pin is not just for cute, you know, a design. It's an actual fucking pin. <laughs> that pins them down, kind of. The, you know, the song playing in the background too while Indus is popping up. This was a great moment. Now, she did get bailed out at the end. I think that's perfectly fine. I'm just glad that she was not just a helpless damsel in distress that needed help. But I think that Hyoka probably sacrificed herself there. Toma also had a great showing. He is yamping his ass off with this, all his, you know, self-righteous indignations. And I love that part about him. His definition on what, you know, life is. You know, we've dealt with the Misaka clones and same with Hyoka. They're not really like human beings, but to him, every life is special. They're a friend, even though they've only, you know, met each other for a couple of hours. And Hyoka kind of giving us more background on what the imaginary district could be. And because she touched an illegal immigrant, I guess she too is now an illegal immigrant. I'm not too sure, but that's pretty much it. We have the season finale left to wrap up. Index and then we get to railgun. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.